Hi everyone, this is Oilquip Incorporated again. This is part three of how to read hydraulic schematics, and we are going to cover hydraulic filters and flow control valves. This first symbol here is a generic symbol for a filter. There is no bypass or any additional components. Also note that the micron rating of this filter is not indicated. Usually you have to know the part number or look at the bill of materials on the schematic for that information. The next symbol is a filter with a bypass check valve. The bypass check valves are usually included internally into the filter housing. These are present so that the pressure differential across the filter reaches the bypass spring setting. The oil flow will begin to travel around the filter and through the bypass check. The advantage is that if someone forgets to change a filter or a filter is clogged, your system can keep operating. The disadvantage of this setup is your oil is no longer being conditioned. It can lead to early system malfunction or increase, increased component repairs. <clears throat> this next symbol is a basic symbol for a filter with no bypass, but it does have a pressure differential gauge. This gauge will indicate when it is time to change your filter element. The fourth symbol is an example of two inline filters without bypass valves that run parallel to each other. They each have a pressure differential gauge to indicate when it is time to change the filter. And the ball valves on either end of these filters give you the ability to hot, hot swap filter elements during machine operation. This next symbol is a filter with both a bypass and a pressure differential gauge. The phantom line encompassing all these components means that this is considered one, in, uh, one uh, package. The symbol represents a filter with a differential pressure switch. This symbol is used to send signals to PLC or DCS systems to indicate when it is time to change a filter element. Most of our customers will refer to this as a filter alarm. <clears throat> this next symbol is a specific symbol for a filter we use here at Oilquip, especially in turbine applications. This is similar to the parallel filter I showed earlier, except instead of ball valves, there is a crossover switch internal to the filter housing. This allows for hot swappable filter elements during system operation in a compact package. It is also shown with a bypass and a pressure differential gauge. This symbol here is a basic symbol for a needle valve. Notice that this is a basic symbol for an orifice with the additional arrow indicating that this orifice size is adjustable. Also, <coughs> also note that the flow, controlled, the flow is controlled in both directions. Remember that controlling flow of the system is controlling the speed of the system. The next symbol is what we refer to as a flow control. Fluid flow in one direction is varied through the orifice, going from top to bottom, but is bypassed going around the orifice and through the check valve when you go from bottom to top. Next up, we have a flow control valve with two additional symbols. One symbol you can think of as a thermometer, and it means that it is temperature compensated. This means that variations in temperature or viscosity will not change the amount of flow through the valve. This is usually done by using sharp edged orifices internally. The second additional symbol is a sideways arrow. This means your valve is pressure compensated. In similar fashion, pressure variations in your system will not change the amount of flow through the valve. Really quickly, I'll move through these next symbols. This just shows you a different variations of the things we've already learned. This is a flow control with just pressure compensated. This is a flow control with pressure compensation and a reverse free flow bypass. And this is a flow control with temperature and pressure compensated with the additional reverse free flow bypass.
Our last symbol shows that the orientation of your flow control valves will determine if you have a meter in system versus a meter out system. In simple terms, if you're controlling the flow going into your system or cylinder, you are metering in. And if you're controlling the flow returning from your system or cylinder, you are in a meter out condition. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Part 4 will cover pump and motor symbols.